Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra. In Shiksha Mantra, we have chosen a discussion that's obviously going to be of much interest for my student. But before we start this discussion, you have to be patient as you have already found it out in the thumbnail what you are going to learn here. You have already found it out? Let me ask you something. You are a very vorous student. You learn English? Are you confused? Yes, dear friends. Actually, it happens when we start learning something. We have to remember that in English, learning is a uh, a bit uh, confusing because it's used uh, in so very different uh, countries in so very different parts of the world that the language changes very quickly if i ask you you are learning english and if i ask you what type of sentence is this you would say sir this is a declarative sentence but just follow me what I am saying. You are learning English? I haven't punctuated it yet. But if I make the punctuation, obviously I am not going to put a full stop here. Rather, I would ask you a question. That's why there would be a question mark or interrogative marks of interrogation. And now the question is being asked just like an interrogative sentence. Though it is written, it's produced like an assertive sentence. You are learning English? You are learning English grammar? Your brother is a good student? So what's happening? Here I am asking a question, so it's a question, but it looks like declarative. Yes, dear friends, this is the very important topic we are going to learn here. It's the topic which you have already found out that we are going to learn declarative questions and it's a bit confusing now. So let's learn it well. Yes, dear friends, so here we are with declarative questions. Actually, in a process, when a language is used, it's used in so very different ways that it gathers so many different things together and it makes our learning confusing. And it happens most of the time in English grammar or grammar of any language because grammatically, you have learned something but when you find them in actual use they are something else so your learning your knowledge of english grammar doesn't match with what you see you get confused but there's nothing to get confused of because whatever is used in a language is transformed into grammar for several times i've told you not to treat grammar of the language as something separate rather you have to remember that the grammar is actually a production of the actual language how we use the language that use is being transformed into grammar so your learning grammar depends on your uses of the language so what we are learning here we are going to learn declarative questions and the very term it's a conjugation of two things one is declarative and the other is question now what happens you know in types of sentences you learn them separately you learn declarative and you learn questions or interrogative so there we have 
amalgamated. We have fused declarative sentences with questions and we have produced a new genre of questions which we call declarative questions. So the most important fact is that these are obviously declarative so they would follow the S V O or S V or S V C structure whatever it may be that means subject verb object or subject verb or subject verb complement that structure would be followed that means these types of sentences which will get the structure of a declarative sentence but they would be asked in questions mode so the pronunciation the way you produce this sentence obviously verbally this is the most important factor that you have to remember these are verbal questions because you cannot manage that intonation in written form it has come from the intonation when we produce the sentence is your daughter is your daughter look if we consider this sentence she is your daughter so for declarative we'll get she is your daughter that's a declarative sentence so when you write them down like this it would be considered as a declarative sentence or an assertive sentence because it follows the structure subject verb and object obviously it's not object it's complementary so that's it so what happens when you produce this sentence verbally you say she is your daughter that means you are actually asking a question and there the punctuation would be note of interrogation or a question mark and it would become a question it's a question in declarative form now the problem is when we have learned about questions we have learned the structure as vs or vso or vsc so this is how we have learned questions or formation of interrogative sentence an interrogative sentence or a question follows this structure vs verb then subject or verb then subject and then object or verb then subject and the complement so this structure is normally followed but here we aren't following it we are following something else we are following s v o this structure and the result is this one or the question so there lies the confusion and so far whatever we have discussed here you have already uh, learned it you have already found it out that it's actually a question but the structure of a declarative sentence is maintained here and thus we produce a declarative question yes dear friends that's it but there's a but yes in most of my discussions you would find some but and these buts are actually your clues your these are the clues with which you could remember them well and these are obviously very important clues whenever a declarative questions is produced you must remember that these questions are actually yes no questions yes dear friends these are yes no questions because whenever a declarative question is produced the desired answer is either yes or no when i'm asking you you are learning english grammar you would say yes or you would say no she is your daughter your answer will be either yes or no so this is how a declarative question is produced with a desire to find out an answer in either affirmation or negation with yes or no that's it that's what we uh, we have actually discussed here about declarative questions but here i have another note to add here you know question tags this is your daughter isn't she that's how we ask for a confirmation with a declarative sentence in conventional 
English language or in conventional English grammar. The grammar would ask you if you want to produce that effect in your sentence. You have a very simple, very simple thing to follow, and that is to use a tag, to use a question tag. But when we produce language in verbal forms, in spoken form, obviously we want to make things simple and very much united, very much small. And there, to make them united, to actually uh, shrink them into a short form, we avoid that question tag. And that's why we add a question mark after the declarative sentence and we get our result declarative questions and that's it. But there's some confusions with it as well. Whenever you produce a declarative questions or you ask of declarative questions, some other confusion arises here as well. And what are those confusions regarding declarative questions? We are going to discuss them in our next session here in Shiksha Mantra. Till now, whatever you have learned, just remember them, remember them well and don't get confused with those terms like declarative questions. They are not going to get confused with rather they are the things which you have to learn by heart and you have to remember and use successfully in your language so that your language will become rich and that's of your knowledge of english grammar we are returning very soon with another very very important discussion regarding declarative questions till then bye bye happy learning